Hey, what's happening out there, YouTube? Carla, CNL Small Engine Repair and Mobile Service. Hey, I got a good one for you today, guys. I'm going to show you a few tricks on these Honda it, RX, HRX, yeah, HRX 217s. And the problem that I have found with these things, um, I don't know how many of these I've done. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I, it's, I could probably look back in my notes and stuff and see how many I did last year. Um, but since these things have been out, these things are notorious for this, guys. And what it is is on your transmission brackets and the spring that goes on there. I'm going to show you here in just a second. The spring on these things look like something off a trampoline. I'm not kidding you. I mean, they're a ridiculous spring. There's no feasible way that for a push mower that you have to have this much spring to return that um, transmission to neutral. And I'm going to show you how I fix this problem. Um, I fixed a bunch of them, man. I've never had any problems with them um, when they come back. Um, but I'm going to turn this around and show you what I'm doing. All right, guys. Look here. Here's the spring. That's a return spring, guys, for a um, push mower. Just to return the, it's rear-wheel drive, just to return the transmission back. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is what it does. Let me get my hand behind it. Maybe you can see it better. See where it's cutting it, cutting through that? All right. Here's the bracket off the transmission. It's doing the same thing there. See that where it's cut out? And that breaks right there. Then this gets tangled up in the belt, jacks the belt up. You can even see where it started wearing some on the, on the spring on both ends. Now, that may be to, if I can get it to focus, there we go. It may be due to some vibration or whatever, but let me show you something, guys. This is a spring, a return spring for a riding mower. They're just about the same length. Now, this is what I replace this spring with. The part number, the organ part number on this is 05... 022 so for this that's this spring right here now these parts aren't real expensive um, but still it's just man this thing's a nightmare to um, look at here all them all that brackets and all them bolts right there goes in the shroud cover for this thing and let me get down here and I'll show you let me grab my flashlight I want to show you what I'm, do what I'm doing down here If you're having problems, this is why. Out of your, see right there? See where I hooked that little spring up in there? That's where that spring goes from there to that back. There's a back plate right there. <clears throat> I'll show it to you, but um, it's a back plate right there. So I just hook that little spring in there. Okay. Now this is the second one I'm doing today. Okay getting ready to take and I just throwed that spring in there just to show you that spring there is a little bit longer and just a little bit lighter than a new one so but it's just a return spring for an old craftsman that's what we're putting in this thing um, now you can even see here look at the cable see the cable right there you see where it's cut up it's got to put a cable on it it's just one of them things guys these things, man, are notorious. And when I mean notorious, I mean they are notorious for this. So if you've got one of these HRX 217s and it's eating the eating everything off of it like this is, eating it up like that, instead of using this big old crazy spring right here, get you one of these and put you one of them in there. I mean, there's a big difference. You can see how that bends compared to you can't even bend it with you with your finger like that you use your thumb that's ridiculous i don't know honda man you know I me mean? honda like i always say everybody loves a honda till a honda breaks down when a honda breaks down they don't like them too much no more and this is part of the reason why is because they make stuff most of the time honda their engines and stuff like that guys 
I mean, they'll run and run and run it. GC model, man, 160s, 190s. Them things will run forever. If you keep oil changed in them and you take care of them, man, that, that engine will last you a long time. But the rest of this, no, no. No, this, the rest of this is messed up, man. I even called Honda and asked them if they was a fix for it because I do so many of them. I was like, man, they got to be. You've had to redo it. I mean, there's no way that just here in my little neck of the woods that we're doing all these repairs on these things. And it's the same thing every time that has to be going on across the country, man, you know, across the world, wherever they sell them at. So I just thought, well, we'll just go ahead and put these things in here and see what happens. And I did one last year and used just a regular lawnmower spring. Ain't heard nothing from the guy. And I've done his every year. These things will wear out on you every year. And it's 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 probably to change the brackets and put everything back up under there. Take it out, put it back an hour, you know. But still, it's an hour that somebody is paying a shop like mine to do it. And you don't have to do that. Um, probably the, the homeowner, you know, a guy that just tinkers with this stuff every once in a while, fixes his own stuff. DIY, um, you could do this. Only problem with doing it is that take pictures because this is like a jigsaw puzzle, putting it back to back in, the, in together. In there, everything has to set right in the right place, or it will not fit. It will not. It will not work. So, guys, I, I know this video was short, but man, it's spring. We're slammed up up to here, and. Um, I just got to knock some of this stuff out today. So, But I did want to show you why I had this part. I was like, let me show you this, because I know a lot of people don't know that. But if you're having problems with your cable breaking because it's too tight, people say, this cable is so tight on this thing. Cable so tight. Or, like I said, you break the cable. Um, or, or if it comes off and gets into the belt and cuts the belt in two. That's you. A lot of times that spring, if you've seen where that spring was, that spring will break. And hopefully it breaks in the front, because if it breaks in the front, it's going to fall to the back. It'll stay away from the belt. If it breaks in the front or in the back and it flips forward, it's into your belt every time. You need a belt up. Then you got to change a belt. This model here, they make two different models. They're, they're the same model, 217. They got a little bit slightly different designs. I've got another one just like this. This is how many of these I do, guys. I got another one sitting right outside. That I'm getting ready to do the exact same thing on. Right there. You can see that one. Exact same thing. To the T. To the letter. Same thing. I'm getting ready to do both these. So. That's what I mean. That's how common it is here. Um, with what we're doing and stuff like that. So. Hopefully this video helps somebody out, man. Again, no matter how, what you do. Do it for the glory of God. Or it's just not worth doing. Till next time. CNL's out.